today we will try to prove that internal energy is a property of a system so for this we need to revise our knowledge of property what is a property anything that depends on uh, the particular state of a system and not the path of the system is called the property of that system then the second concept imp important here is the point function all the properties by default are point functions as they depend only on the initial and final points of a system so we have to prove that internal energy is a point function okay so now let us assume we have two axes uh, x and y suppose at the state 1 the value of its internal energy is u1 and after undergoing a process the system has reached to state 2 and the internal energy has become u2 the value of the internal energy has become u2 and the path the system has traveled from 1 to 2 let it be 1 a 2 so change in internal energy can be written as the internal energy value at state 2 minus the internal energy value at state 1 now if the system is cyclic and it returns from 2 to 1 through the path 2 b 1 so for the path uh, 1 a 2 by applying the first law of thermodynamics i can write q a can be written as uh, w a plus del u a for the uh, path 1 a 2 so rearranging this equation we get q a minus uh, w a is equal to del u a so let it be equation one similarly for the path 2b 1 uh, qb can be written as the summation of wb and uh, del ub so rearranging the equation we get this equation 2 okay now for the cycle 1 a 2 b 1 uh, we know that in a cycle the summation of all the uh, uh, work done is equal to the summation of all the heat transfer uh, incurred in the in the cycle so summation of w uh, can be written as summation of uh, q next since there are only two processes in this cycle so i can write w a plus w b can be written as q a plus q b so again rearranging i get q a uh, minus w a can be written as w b minus q b now substituting the values of q a minus w a and uh, qb minus wb uh, sorry wb minus qb from equation 1 and 2 we can get uh, del u a can be written as minus uh, del u b okay now if i consider a third path to c1 shown by the blue color through which the system returns to 1 instead of uh, the path to b1 so by doing the same calculations so we can write internal energy for the path a can be written as uh, negative of internal and uh, change in internal energy for the path uh, c so let it be equation 4 so from 3 and 4 we can write del u b is equal to del u c so finally you can see that we have what we have got is del u a can be written as del u b uh, which is again equal to del u c here uh, please note that the minus sign uh, that has come sometimes it is just because of the direction direction uh, the magnitude is same the, the magnitude is important here okay so hence after this analysis i can say that the change in internal energy does not depend on the path traveled by the system in fact it depends only on the uh, initial and final state so it is a point function and all the point functions we know are by default properties of the system so this was all about the internet uh, internal energy please subscribe magvidya for more such videos thank you